What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just bought something. Got it from Best Choice Products. And it's another folded bicycle. And I picked this one up because, as you saw, I picked up one of the other ones recently and really liked it. Actually surprised me. It was a little easier to put together than I thought. Not as easy as I had hoped. So it should look very much like the one I have, just in silver. Now, now one thing I want to mention about this uh, bike is the price point. So I picked this up on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. Obviously the prices vary, but I got it for $115. Now, I think that's a pretty good price for maybe any bike. You know, a fully assembled uh, regular mountain bike is probably about a hundred bucks. So you get the convenience of a folding bike and uh, but some of the trade-offs with it so i'll put a link to it in the description but you know this one was actually uh, quite a bit cheaper than the other bike i purchased and i think you know this one looks like it has all the same features all right guys so let me just say right off the bat if i had known that this bike was going to come as assembled as it is i would have bought this one first holy smokes man uh you know on the description it says assembled which i kind of just meant to mean like all the major components are assembled you're gonna have to do some bolting this thing legitimately was assembled um you pretty much can put the whole thing together with a pair of scissors because you're just going to cut off the zip ties off the padding i mean it, it's great even the pedals are assembled and on there so uh, what an awesome deal to get this whole thing kind of uh assembled uh, right out of the box now you have to pump up the tires and you know there are a couple things that I've noticed are a little different than the other bike, but all in all, man, I wish I had started here. So there are a number of things that are different and I kind of want to go through those before we go out to the second part of the review and actually road test this. But a, a lot of the things that I'm seeing already, I actually like better. So, so a couple of things that I like are the pedals are here are attached, but they have this release right here so that you can bend them out of the way. The other bike, the pedals were just like regular pedals, and so you, you would have to unscrew them if you want them really out of the way. But these kind of release and fold down, which is really, really cool, and then they snap and lock into place right there. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, one of the things, or a couple of things that I think you might have to do is it looks like this brake pad might need to be adjusted down a little bit to get on that flat surface. And then also, the, the gear handles here, or your your brake handles may or may not be in the right position for you. Right now, they're kind of very much straight down, which might be okay, but you may have to use an Allen key and loosen them up and kind of ride those up a little bit, you know, so keep that in mind too. Oh, it does have a kickstand, which I really like too. The other thing that you're gonna have to um, tighten up is this uh, re front reflector. It's attached, but it's not tightened down. It's kind of flopping around for you know, um, shipping sake. The other things that I will show you is that this latch here to fold the handlebars is different. It's not better or worse, I think. It's just a little different uh, than the other one. And it actually took a little doing to kind of close it and open it. And it's a little hard to do one-handed, but then it does have this little plastic collar which goes in there and I think locks it closed, all right? Uh, you do have a uh, tensioning lever right there for the, the top of the handlebars, all of which come included. And that's the same thing that you have here for the seat bars. Now, I've, I found that when I tighten this up, because you can use your thumb to tighten this other side, this seemed to tighten up better than my other bike, too. So that was pretty cool. I definitely like that. Now, one of the big things, and let's just spin it around here is this latch the main latch to fold the bike i like this one a lot better it seems a lot easier to use one again it has kind of like this tensioning latch here which the other one does not and then you kind of just pivot it out so it seems a lot easier now you will have to tighten this down a little bit and what i've noticed here is that you're probably going to need a wrench to hold this in place to tighten this down to kind of get it at the right tension but once you do that it's just gonna be a lot easier of a latch to close up than on that other bike. The other thing about this folding mechanism right here that I even like more is that uh, this thing is like a little spring loaded. So it comes up and the pin actually pokes through the base here. So it really locks in place. So if I lift this up, that pin comes out and now the bike will fold. But when the bike is folded or extended like this, it won't open up even if this latch isn't really closed very well. And so just another kind of brilliant piece of 
uh, engineering there that makes this bike secure and easy to collapse. So I like that a lot better. Although everything else about the, the latch seems oh about the same, you know? But I like that. And then here on the back on the luggage rack, what I've noticed is that it's, it's similar, but you also have this tension thing. And I'm not actually sure what it is. If you put things underneath it here or what, someone who's a real biker can probably tell me what that's all about. But it's kind of this spring-loaded retention system or something that I don't have on my other bike. The other thing that's a little different is you have like this welded on kind of foot to the base here and there's this like pl plastic foot down here. Now it does come off. I think that's on there maybe for shipping, but I think that's there to kind of protect that uh, gear wheel from getting crushed when you're transporting it. Now I don't recall seeing this on my other bike. So that's again, another feature that is on here that wasn't on the other one. Uh, mud guards are all installed here. And as you can see, let's say Shimano on the gear shifters. This one's a little bit different in that it's like a twisting shifter than the other bike. But wow, overall, man, this thing is really just take it out of the box and remove all the packaging. So how awesome is that? Is this the best choice for your folding bike? So far, this best choice products folding bike is your best choice. Now, I've pumped up the tires, which you're gonna have to do. Let's take it outside and see how, how it goes. All right, guys, what's up? So now on to the fun part of the review, and that's the ride test. Uh, this thing is awesome, man. Um, first of all, it is way easier to set up than the other bike, which is a huge, huge deal. And um, the last thing is that even dialing it in is pretty easy. You just need a set of Allen keys, and I think that the only two I really needed was like the five and a half millimeter uh, to adjust the brakes as well as the uh, the handlebar uh, brake levers and then I needed I think a four millimeter to adjust or to tighten down the gear shifting the Shimano uh, gear shift on the the handlebars um, so other than that other than just kind of dialing in a few things man the thing runs great and I do like this the shift the gear shifter you kind of just twist the handle. It's kind of like riding a motorcycle, but man. Uh, the other thing is, I will tell you that being able to adjust to the big clamp, the one where you, uh, woohoo, the one where you actually fold the bicycle in half on the main frame is a huge advantage. You can kind of dial it in right where you want it because on the other bike, it is so stiff it's almost impossible to unlock it and it's almost impossible to snap it back down because it's so stiff I almost want to take like a file and just file it down a little bit because there's no way to do any fine adjustment on it so because of that you know it almost makes it so that I want to sell that one and get another one of these so this is pretty awesome this bike rocks man I'm really excited that I got it like I said it was probably about 60 or 70 or 80 dollars cheaper than the last one and you're riding the thing within an hour as opposed to the other one it also didn't produce as much styrofoam packaging debris in my room so check it out i'll put a link to the description peter von panda out